This is why you're not making money from your blog, vlog or podcast. If you feel frustrated because you are creating lots of content but not making enough sales, here are three mistakes you might be making and how to fix them. Are you working hard churning out content piece after content piece on your blog, your podcast or YouTube channel or your social media account and you're just not seeing any results from it? Perhaps you already have followers and you're getting good engagement on your content, but you're still not making enough money. Let me know what you're struggling with by leaving a comment on my blog, my YouTube channel, or send me a DM on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle. Today I'm sharing three mistakes you might be making when it comes to making sales from your content and the exact strategies to fix them. Today you will discover how to plan content that leads people to your products, how to lead people from your content to your email list, and how to lead people from your email list to your products. What I just described is a funnel, and I'm going to show you how to create a very simple funnel today. My name is Kath Kyle, and I'm the author of Stamp Goals book, and I'm so happy that you're here. I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. So three mistakes that prevent you from making sales from your content. Number one, your content wasn't related to your products. This is the biggest mistake that I see content creators making, which is not planning their content based on what they are offering for sale. A lot of content creators just randomly create content pieces based on what they feel like creating or how popular they feel the content piece will be. But the problem with this approach is that it doesn't lead people to want to buy your products because your product is not related to the content that they're reading. And I used to make the same mistake myself. I personally started a blog about green smoothies and created some green smoothie meal plans and recipe books for sale. Then one day I was doing a favour for a friend and I was promoting her course which was all about making decisions. I decided to create a blog post called 10 decisions you will regret in 10 years and I was going to recommend her course at the end of the blog post but the only problem is she never ended up publishing the course and my blog post went absolutely viral. To date this blog post has had wait for it 839,370 page views and the number is still rising and this wasn't a flash in the pan kind of virality. This blog post has been getting a lot of traffic for five years now. For five years, especially at the start of every year, this blog post goes absolutely crazy viral, getting up to 18,000 page views in one day. And with all that traffic, guess how many sales it makes? None absolutely zero product sales have ever come from this blog post. All that traffic and no sales at all. What a devastation. Believe me, I have tested numerous different offers on this blog post. I've put numerous different products, affiliate products, books on there. I've tested everything and none of it has ever resulted in any sales whatsoever. And I even created a free gift, a happiness journal, which leads people to my email list. But the problem is that Green Thickey's email list isn't about personal development. It's about green smoothies. So obviously they're not interested in green smoothies. They're interested in personal development. And I'm not talking about personal development in my email list, in my welcome series. I start talking about Thank you for taking care of your health and investing in your health and helping you to lose weight. And here's how to lose weight with green smoothies. So it's completely unrelated to the topic of making decisions and personal development. So they're just going to end up unsubscribing from my email list. And 
I'm actually really glad that I was reminded about this blog post again because now I have my Kath Kyle blog and the very thing I ask people to do first when they're at the start of the manifestation process is to make a decision by setting a goal and goal setting is my thing. I've even got a book about goal setting called Stamp Goals. So as I was planning out this content piece, I was making my notes and I just thought, bing light bulb moment, I'm going to hop on over there to this blog post and I'm going to, just going to change it right now. So what I did was I've still got the, the blog post in there. I took away some offers. I had some links to books on Amazon and I thought I'm just going to take those off. Nobody's ever bought them. So, but people do opt in to the get the happiness journal into green thickies, but I suspect they probably just unsubscribe straight away. So what I've done now is I went over to the blog post and I left the free gift on there, but instead of opting people into the green thickies welcome series, I now opt people into the Kath Kyle email list because I talk a lot about mindset with Kath Kyle. So people are going to be more interested in sticking around on the Kath Kyle email list than the Green Thickies email list. So let's see how that change goes. So obviously making that blog post that got all that traffic and none of it made any sales was a big lesson that I learned from that blog post. But thankfully it wasn't all a disaster because I do actually make a lot of money from banner ads on my website on Green Thickies. I put other people's adverts on there. I'm with an ad network, which automatically puts other people's ads inside my blog posts. So whenever people go to the web page, they see my banner ads and I get money for that. I don't use them on, I don't use banner ads on kathkyle.com. So I'm much more careful to only write posts that are in the content niche as my products that I'm selling on Kath Kyle, because at the moment, the only way that I'm making sales on Kath Kyle or making money on Kath Kyle rather is by selling my own products. So I make sure that I keep my content on topic with Kath Kyle, which is about business and personal development for business owners. So that is mistake number one is to keep your content on topic, the topic of your products. So let's move on to mistake number two. You try to make sales directly from your content. And I see the people making this mistake all the time. They try to sell their products directly from their social media posts and blog posts without building a relationship first. And I used to do this myself and I just got frustrated because nobody ever bought anything from me this way. A lot of people see other people with big followings on Instagram selling directly from Instagram and they see it working for other people. So they think, why don't I try that? And then they wonder why it's not working for them. But the thing is about people with big social media followings is that they, they have already built a good relationship with their audience previously and they probably didn't start off selling their products directly to their audience. And if they did start off trying to sell their products via their audience, they probably didn't get any results either because it just doesn't tend to happen when you don't have any audience. Because now that the, these people have big followings, when they do post about their products on social media, they actually get lots of their loyal fans commenting and saying how good their products are. People that have already bought their products are leaving their testimonials on their social media posts. So obviously this is the social proof that people who are new to the brand need to think, okay, people are raving about these products. I'm going to go and buy them. But if you've got no engagement at all on your social media posts, you've got nobody endorsing your products, then you're probably going to struggle to sell directly from social media. And don't despair because in a minute, I'm going to tell you what to do instead. Number three, mistake number three is you didn't ask your audience to take any action from your content. A lot of business owners expect that if they put out good quality content, then they'll just get a flood of people reaching out to them and asking them what they're selling and how they can work with them. But unfortunately, it just doesn't work like this for most people. 
Whenever I consume great content, but I wasn't asked to take any action, I just assume that this person is either creating this content as a hobby or they're new to business and they don't have anything to sell yet or perhaps they don't have the confidence in their own products to lead me towards them and either way I think if they don't have the confidence to sell their products to me because they don't believe enough about in, in their products then I'm certainly not going to go and search out products that the business owner doesn't have confidence in. So what about you? Do you expect someone to ask you to take an action at the end of a content piece? What would you do if you don't get asked to take an action? Do you just leave that piece of content? Do you think what I think about people who don't um, ask you to take an action? So this request to take action is called a call to action. A call to action is a request that asks somebody to take a particular action at the start end or the middle of a piece of content and in a minute I'll share the most effective types of call to action that you can use. So how do we plan content that leads people to your product? So if you want to avoid the mistake of creating content that isn't related to your products you need to take some time to plan your content before you create it. What I suggest you do is look at your current products and ask yourself what would somebody need to understand before they even invest in your product? That is a great starting point for planning relevant blog posts. For example, if you're selling a meal plan related to green smoothies, you need to look at the benefits of the product that you're selling. In this case, the meal plan helps people to improve their health and lose weight. So the blog posts that you need to focus on would be related to the reason why somebody is gaining weight or perhaps why a standard diet causes health problems. Then after you've highlighted the problem, you present your solution, just like I'm doing with you now in this content piece. I created a lot of these kind of blog posts for green thickies. I created blog posts that highlighted the health risks of eating dairy, of not getting enough fruit in your diet and comparing refined sugar to fruit sugar and explaining what the difference is. So how to lead people from your content to your email list. So after you've started creating content that highlights the reason people are having a particular problem, you want to create a call to action that asks them to do something at the end of the content. So what should the call to action ask somebody to do? I recommend that you give away a free gift at the end of your content to give someone a small result. Give them something that they can consume quickly to give them part of the solution but not the whole solution. For example, if you're selling a meal plan, you could give away one recipe as a free gift. I created a weight loss smoothie for green thickies and in return for the free gift, people opt into the email list and I start to build a relationship with them by automatically sending them a series of emails that are helpful to them. And if you have a very low priced product, it can sell well directly from your free content, but if you sell anything over around say $50, I would suggest building a deeper relationship with them first. So how to lead people from your email list to your products. So now that people are on your email list and you've welcomed them and told them what to expect from your brand, you can now start to build a deeper relationship with them by sharing good quality content on a regular basis and also make offers to them. People are much more likely to open your emails than see your social media posts and they are much more likely to buy from emails than social media. So for that reason, I do almost all of my selling from emails unless I'm advertising a very low priced product. What I like to do is create regular free workshops where I provide value and also offer my products for sale. I provide good content to my email list and also ask them if they want to attend a workshop and that's how I make a lot of my sales. And I also write some specific launch emails when I'm launching a product. So now that you've learned how to make money from your content, you might be wondering what other types of content you could create that leads directly to a sale. 
I have created a free in-depth training on creating content that converts and I'm giving it to you free for a limited time only. As part of this free video training, I give you a step-by-step -step checklist walking you through the 13 elements of constantly converting content. My exact script swipe file and an example of my own constantly converting content. You can get my free lesson where I walk you through my complete process of creating content that converts. And this is part of my premium course, Dream Business Blueprint. And I'm only making this lesson free for a limited time because I'm testing different lessons. So grab this while it's still available. And you can go to kathkyle.com forward slash lesson to get that completely free for a limited time only. And next time I'm showing you how to overcome fear of competition using my stamp it out process to reject disbelief. So make sure you subscribe to my podcast, Manifest Business Success, my YouTube channel, Kath Kyle, and follow me on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle. So you don't miss that. And I will also let you know via email when my next piece of content has arrived. And I'm currently giving away four brand new gifts every month to my email list so don't miss that you can subscribe to my email list by opting into any of my free gifts such as my free 100 plus success mantras mantras are like affirmations that the brain can't argue with because they are true for everyone these mantras will make the achievement of your goals inevitable and here is one example of a couple of my own success mantras one email subscriber is worth 10 social media followers. The best tools in business are not free. You can get my free success mantras by going to kathkyle.com forward slash mantras. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.